And so friends, now moving on to list and sets. Now what's a list? A list is a collection of ordered values where the same value can appear more than once. And for a set, a set is a collection of ordered values where the same value can't appear more than once. Now what's the major difference is to take note from these two collections of set values or collection of ordered values. One, values can appear more than once in a set. Why for a list, values can appear more than once? They just tend to appear only once. In dealing with sets, we make use of curly braces to embed collection of values. Why for list, we make use of square brackets to embed collections of values. Now, let's move on. Or let me move on to show you guys this practical. So, let's head over here to my screen. So, back from where we stop, let's take for instance now, I want to create a list. So as usual in that, you know that is a statically typed language. So first of all, you have to define the, the, the type of the variable you want to define or the type of the element you want to, you want, you want, you want to define. So the type, in which, uh, the type of variable which I want to define here is a list. So I'm going to say list. So this is how I define list in that. So what's the name of the list? So I'm going to say num, n-u-m, because I want this to hold for me integer values. So I told you guys that list list collection values have been embedded in between square brackets so i'm going to go ahead right now opening and closing my square brackets then inside this i'm going to say let me just say one two three four and five perfect okay um, yeah perfect so you could come on you could go ahead running this to, to get rid of this error but though i don't want to quickly rush into things and go running this because i don't want to just print out the values here you understand so we're already so familiar with printing out results with that so that's not a problem for us right now so the first thing i want i want to show you guys here is how to pick each value you see inside here how to get each value so take for instance i want to get the value two inside here the number two the integer two so in 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 dealing with with lists if you want to get a specific value a particular value you make use of what we call indexes so in that indexes start from zero so you count from zero one two three four and so on and so forth so the first value that you have inside your collection of sets or your collection of lists should start with an index of zero so whereby i want i want to get the number two i want to get the number two so i'm going to start from index zero and index one so you see my two here is an index of in, of one so let me show you guys this so i'm going to say print print num then you're going to go ahead open your square brackets again then index one print num index one close this and let's go ahead run this and see our result so now guys you see our result here over here is two so take for instance now, how about if we want to go ahead overriding the value 2 inside here. So if I want to go ahead overriding the value 2 inside here, you see the same method I'm going to apply or you see the same syntax I'm going to still apply over here. So I'm going to, just going to say norm with an index. I'm going to go ahead locating that value in which I want to replace, which is 2. Norm with an index of 1 because I told you guys 2 here is in index 1. Close this with your terminator or your semicolon. So in programming, we we'll call semicolons terminators. You understand? So more often, I'm going to be using the, the the word terminator. You understand? So in case if I say terminator, what I mean is the semicolon. You understand? So um, num one should be replaced with let me say eight. Yeah, this should be replaced. With, let me give this a little space so that our code is going to look look neat. You understand? So at times it's not all about just programming. So you might be so good at programming, but another thing is to keep a very clean and neat code for other programmers to understand you understand so num1 equals 8 let me give spaces between this yeah so i hope everyone is able to see this so clearly now and yeah so print num1 now let's see the results it gives us you see it gives us 8 so even if we go ahead over here let's get rid of one so let's print this whole this whole list this whole collection of list items here so you're not going to see two any longer. You're going to see one, eight, three, four, and five. And now let's give this a try. 
yeah now you see inside the the collection of list items you see here we have we saw of us having one two three four and five we got to replace with eight so that's why we have over here one eight three four and five so let me show you guys something else so inside this list by the ease definition we said a list is a collection of items so collection of items it could be either items of any any value data type it could be integer they could be integers strings booleans or whatsoever so now inside here right now let me just give a spacing because i want you guys to observe the difference so i can come inside here and give uh, and and put a data type of string inside this collection include it so i'm gonna say inside here i'm just gonna say my name nelson yeah nelson because there's nothing coming to my head right now just my name and it's still fine so this nelson is of data type string you understand and it's also contained inside this collection of list items you understand so everything contained inside here are integer types but only nelson makes the difference of the string type you get so how possible is this well with list is possible with set also it's possible and booleans also could be contained inside here but it's not going to make sense like like much sense like that you understand so now if you want to be so okay let me let me go ahead and run this again let me go ahead and run this again so that you're going to see the results in which we get over here so you see one eight three four five and nelson so you see nelson now is part of the items being contained inside this list collections collection you understand so now if you want to get rid of this nelson so in that i told you guys that if you want to be more specific in what you need in the, the kind of items or values in which you need from something so you're going to go more strict you understand so by so doing that's what we we'll call this so you're just going to go ahead opening your less than and greater than sign so in between these two two signs you're going to state the type the data type in which you want your list items to to have so i'm going to go ahead and say i just want my list items to have only integer integers you understand so you see immediately as i said i want my list items to have only integers you see it spots for us inside here that we have a string data type and this is wrong and you see it's been striked um it's been underlined red you understand with the red line so it says one issue the element type string can be assigned to the list type blah 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 so already you guessed it right the element string can be assigned to the list type integer you get so what you're gonna have to do to avoid this error right now is to get rid of nelson and that's simple you understand so everything right now that this list expects to just be only integer integer values so let me say control z so if one this for strings so you can come over here and say string okay sorry my bad typo string yep so you see the element type int can be so it pause this type of this error it repeats this error issue here over one two three four over five times so because we have five integer integer values here and our 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 list collection only accepts string data types you understand so one two three four five so we have to get rid of this but no i'm not going to get rid of this so it's fine though sure so let's just get rid of let's just get rid of it as a whole like this you get so now we we'll go further so after let me, let, me, let me get rid of nelson because i don't need nelson for now so after five i'm going to go ahead repeating the same first the first three values inside here let me show you guys something Control c come here and let me paste this here so you see we have one two times two two times and three two times also so with least this is possible because i told you guys in the definition that list accepts more than one of the same type of value you understand or you could say inside a list values can appear more than once so it's not strict about how many times values appear inside it you understand so but how about for sets so now let me go ahead and show you guys for sets so for sets we're going to come ahead if you want to define a set you say set set i'm still going to say norm but I'm going to make this a double M to, to show the difference. So for set, I told you guys that for sets, we make use of curly braces. Then for list, we make use of square brackets. And then inside this curly braces, let me go ahead and copy in every value in which I have inside this list. Then let me come inside here pasting this. So you see, it says the value of the local variable norm isn't you. Okay, that's the first error. 
So for the second one, it says this one we use to the error. So for the second one, it says two elements in a set literal shouldn't be equal. Change or remove the duplicate elements. So already you see the elements in which are being on the line here for us that have duplicates of themselves. So we have one, one has a duplicate, two also has a duplicate, and likewise three has a duplicate. So it gives us two ways to solve this. It says for, for us to change to change the equals or we should remove the duplicate items. So I could come ahead over here, change this to six, seven, or eight, or whatever integer value values in which I want, or I could go ahead getting rid of this because this is a set. So it's that simple. So I tell you guys that sets don't allow their values to appear more than once. Or you could say set values can't appear more than once. You understand? So now I hope you understand the difference from the definition in which I defined for you guys in the beginning. And I hope you guys understand from the definition and everything I explained here, how I broke it down for you guys to grasp real quick. So now let's go ahead diving deep into sets and, and lists. So let me just comment this because I'll, I'm still going to come back to, to this. So I don't need the prints for now. So in dealing with lists and sets, we have what we call methods and properties. Or you could say list methods and properties or set methods and properties. So first of all, we're going to have to start with the set methods or sorry, the list methods. So the, the, the two technologies here, methods and properties, they are, they are quite different, you understand? But the, the syntax in which they are being applied with, you understand? Or the form in which they are being made up of is just the same, you understand? So I'm going to explain for you guys what I mean practical, you understand? So for the first method I have over here, I'm, I have the add. So I'm going to say num dot add then open the square open your bracket and close your bracket so for methods we always make we always make sure that we open our bracket and close our bracket immediately after the name of the method you understand but for properties we don't make use of this if you have a property let me show you let me show you guys the property so it's gonna be so clear so for the first property I'm gonna say norm dot first close this so this right now is a property so after the name of the property we don't have the open bracket and the close brackets after the name of the property so this tells you that this is a property but for a method you always have the open bracket and the close bracket to, to show you or to tell you that this is a method you understand a method of what norm is a variable holding a list so this simply means this is a method of list of a list variable you understand or a method of a list so now let me get rid of num.first, but I'm still gonna make use of that. But for now, num.add. So what do you want to add inside the norm? So you're gonna state and uh, specify the value in which you want to add. So the value in which I want to add, so I don't have nine, so let me go ahead add in nine. Yeah, so let's let's print let's print norm and now let's see the new result. So let me go ahead and run this. Let's give this a, a little time. It's coming. So you see. One two three four five one two three and nine. So whenever you make use of the the add method over here, it adds the value in which you specify you provide inside here to the last end of the collection of items in which you have already. You understand? So inside our list collection of items, the last value here is three. But immediately after three, we see it add nine. So it's gonna go ahead, come here, put our comma, and then add nine inside our collection of values. So we also have another method. Of remove so I'm going to come here and say norm dot remove so it's very simple the same way we added nine let's just go ahead simply removing nine you understand we don't want no stress and we don't want any trouble so let me just say nine is causing havoc inside my list right now so I want to get rid of my my enemy or I want to get rid of the stubborn one nine so I'm going to just come here and say remove norm dot remove nine specify the the value in which you want to remove then let's print this again and let's run this so as usual give a little time and you see our results one two three four five one two and three so we no longer have any stubborn nine over here you understand we don't want any stubborn values so nine is out and woo, we've saved the day you understand <laughs> so you could go ahead also removing other values so let me remove another value here so i'm gonna say num dot our method remove 
now that remove plane wire removing one let me remove one so you guys take note of something here so we have one appear two times right so which one right now is gonna exit this collection of values so let's see see the first you see the second well i mean i i don't know so let's let's get who wins the debate so you see over here i guess the first one is out so whichever of you guys chose the the first one you won the debate wow so around the purpose for yourselves so we have one out the first one here so our list our collection of list items started from two this time around three four five one two and three so that's it so we have another list method here which is shuffle so okay for the shuffle i need something significant and um, specific so i don't want to make use of numbers so let me make use of um, animals i don't know i love animals a lot so animals are my hobbies well not all animals because something like snake well wow that's a reptile a deadly one so that's not my friend or something like insects well they, they're very creepy so i don't think i love insects like that except butterflies they're beautiful so for animals let me stay do let me mention the ones i love i love dogs i said socks no not socks dogs dogs fine dogs cats do i love cats uh, i bet i love cats a little bit so cats then after cats i love cheetahs they have speed yeah, cheetah, cheetahs. Then I love the king of the jungle, and like most people have debate over this, the king of the jungle being lion or the king of the jungle being tiger. But I don't care. My own king of the jungle is a lion, so I bet you on that. That's my opinion. So whatever you want to argue, you could go ahead argue it after this tutorial. <laughs> so now let's move further. So I'm seeing errors being spotted here. Norm dot add nine. Okay, the method add isn't defined. For the type norm okay you see what it says here we don't have uh, a variable called norm so a variable which we have here is animals so let me just go ahead commenting this for reference purposes for you guys later on so normal i would have gotten rid of this entirely so let me just comment this so i'm gonna come over here let's print norm first four and let's see what we get okay it says something for us the variable name Animal is in the lower common case. Okay, yeah, 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 my bad. So whenever you're, you're defining variables, you don't start with um, upper case. You start with lower cases. So when you want to make use of upper cases, as I told you guys, you just make use of the lower upper case um, naming convention syntax for a variable. So by by that I mean, take for instance, I'm gonna say wild. Let me say wild. Then this a definitely should change to a. So this is the lower upper case naming convention so the, the the different the difference here you're gonna spot is that we have two words we have the wild and we have the animals so for the first word here we start with our normal uh, lower case the, the the first alphabet here starts with lower case then for the second word here the first letter starts with an upper case so that's the difference between that's what we mean by lower upper case naming convention so this is so i don't want the the wild animals to be the name of my variable i'm just gonna say animals so i'm fine with this so to show for to shuffle this i'm gonna come here and say animals dot shuffle then this animals dot shuffle so undefined name okay animal so it's animals not animal so let's run this so i think a bit a lot of mistakes but that's fine okay i'm saying print now so I don't want norm to be printed. I want animals. Animals. Yeah. So let's go again. Run this for me. And let's wait for our result. So you see here, our first value here doesn't appear to be the dogs. So our first value here appears to be the, the cats. So we have the cats followed by the lion, the cheetahs, and the dogs. So that's what the shuffle is for. So Another method here you could apply is index of. So take for instance, you don't know the the index of cheat, cheetahs over here or the king of the jungle being lion over here. So to to discover the index here, so you're just gonna say apply a method animals. Okay, let me while I'm making this real quick, print animals dot index of. Animals dot index of index of what index 
of um so let me get the index of the lion so i'm gonna come here and say lion so let's run this so i guess the index should be zero one two and three so we're gonna expect the three to be our result so you see three so this is another method so let's go ahead like discovering more methods yourself and practicing more on this so now let's go over to to set value item so let me comment the list so for the set let me uncomment the set let me let me let me just get rid of this print as a whole so one thing i want you guys to also learn is how to keep a clean and neat code so let me arrange this very well or properly yeah so everything we have here is for the set let me call this contracts yeah so everything we have here is for the list so from here right now let's start for the set control v so for the set also we also have our methods and properties so for the first method here we have the the add so let me get rid of this let me get rid of this this one two three all right so for the set we have our first method add so i'm gonna come here and see norm dot add add six so let's run this okay um let me go ahead print print norm let's run this so now you see our results one two three four five and six and also you could appear you could apply the the remove here in sets norm dot remove so what value do you want to remove? So I want to remove three. Three should my escape go to right here. I'm going to remove three. So let's run this. So you're gonna see one, two, four, and five with six. So I don't see already. So you see one, two, four, five, and six. So that's fine. And so we also have um a property. So you could apply properties here. So as I told you guys for the property which we're familiar with right now, the first this is how it's done num dot first num dot first is the type so I'm just let me let me put this contracts and let me, let me let me paste inside here then let me get rid of the terminator inside here you get a first is in fine for the type and num okay so in case if you're not sure about um, properties and methods so just try applying it then when you try applying it and you get an error so figure out why that error pops up and then know the like how you're gonna solve that you understand the, the steps or the method in which you need to solve that so this tells me the getter first isn't defined for the type norm so not not much grammar here not too much um bubbling of our head here and cracking of our our, our 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 brains here so what this simply means right now is that first is not a property that could be applied to a set items or a collection of sets values you understand so but you could apply first to our list so let me just while i'm um, uncommenting the, the sets so let me uncomment this also i say let me comment that also so let's come to our list items so let's uncomment then i'm gonna say animals so but you could apply the first for lists so i'm gonna say animals animals dot first so let's run and it gets for us the first value here which is dogs so dogs fine so we have another property here um last i guess it's this way yeah yeah it's right so let's run it gets us the last value here which is lion yeah you see lion over here fine we have another one print animals dot is empty let me let me see i think this is gonna return for us and boolean boolean answer so let me see the getter is empty isn't defined for the type list dynamic okay this tells us that this is not a property that could be ap applied to animals because one i think i have a typo a m p e t y you understand so let's run this so this is a property right now that could be applied to animals so no error detected and fine and you see over here how it gives us a boolean answer so boolean results could be true or false so i told you guys that i know this is going to give us a boolean result so it gives us false and why we have false over here is because our list here is not empty so let me go ahead and empty this list for now yep 
so let's run this again and see so it's gonna say true so true because our list over here is empty and so with that being said first i hope to see you guys in the next video so that's all for now from consigning list and sets so see you in the next video